Hello friends, welcome. Friends, yesterday I recorded this video, which is right in front of your screen. Vodafone Ideas Fresh AGR Plea, not a review, but a fight for justice. So this is the video. So I'll just go in the front slide of this video. So this is how the video starts. Now, when in this video, there were many comments and one of the comment was that I need to do a video to explain how company calculate present value under debt to equity conversion. I want to see the mathematics accounting calculation behind it, right? So debt to equity conversion, the mathematics and calculations behind it. Now, if the principal is getting converted into equity, it is pretty, pretty simple. So if you have a debt of, let's say, 100 rupees and out of which you want to convert 50 rupees, to equity, it's very simple. You just subtract the principal from 100 rupees and then minus 50 rupees, you are left with 50 rupees and then that 50 rupees will get converted into yearly installment based on the interest that you have and the 50 rupees will be converted into equity based on whatever reference value of stock price that you choose. In case of Vodafone Idea, it was 10 rupees. Now, what is more complicated is the interest conversion which happened when the moratorium started. So friends, this video is more of an educational video. It is, may not have any material impact of those viewers who are watching uh, with an understanding is what going to happen to Vodafone. But I want to do a video to explain to you that how that 16,000, 16.2 K crores of interest payments was identified for the conversion of equity at the start of the moratorium period for Vodafone Idea, which resulted in roughly around 33% of stake of Government of India in Vodafone Idea. So how that 16K number came up, that is the whole, whole purpose of this video. And that is going to give you some insights and it is also going to throw some lights uh, friends, that the accounting structure of Vodafone Idea as per their annual report is concerned is not consistent. We really can't make out which part of the debt that got converted, which part of the debt's interest got converted, which part it did not get converted, how many years it got, got converted. We have no clue, friends. And you will find this video interesting because it is going to be a theoretical come mapping of the practical realities for Vodafone mainly for the purpose of understanding what went in past and what kind of conversion methods will be adopted in future in case interest have to be converted in future and principle is further extended and the moratorium is given on principle. So you need to understand how interest gets converted. It is not as trivial as it sounds and I'll tell you why and that is why I'm doing this video friends, right? So let's be with me. You will, you will find this video very, very interesting. So, uh, I will just, before I start with my slides, I just want to give the press release and throw the press release before you, which was on September, 15 September 2021. And in this press release, uh, if you look at the addressing liquidity requirement of telecom service provider, there was one option, option of TSP to pay interest amount arising due to the set deferred payment for in, uh, by payment uh, by way of equity. So it's saying option for the TSP to pay interest amount arising out of deferred payment by equity. Principle, as I told you, is pretty simple. What is complicated, which requires a little bit of understanding, is the interest. And at the time when this conversion took place for 16,000 crore, I was pretty surprised. I never was able to reconcile till the time I went down below and uh, went deeper into this subject. And then certain things uh, got unraveled, but still I am not very clear as to what actually happened at that time because those things were not disclosed. So let's go to state to my presentation. How Vodafone Ideas interest to equity conversion really happened? That is the title of this, of this uh, presentation. And it may not have any material impact to the viewers who are interested in looking at how the stock is going to fun, you know, perform, etc. But for those who really want to understand the fundamentals, for them, this is going to be a very, very useful video. So we will go step by step explanation of the NPV logic of 16K crores match and the reporting gaps. 
So the trigger was, as I told you, the trigger was a question from my audience. Someone asked, how was the equity inverse converted into equity? He wanted to know the, you know, very, very clear understanding of the accounting practice, which is followed. So the presence, if this presentation answers that in two parts, first, how interest payments were converted into equity with math and how this logic applies to VI and where are the shortfall in reporting where we I find a lot of inconsistencies, right? So let's understand the math calculation first because this is very, very important. People get confused and I was also confused. I have written some articles which are completely wrong now. I understand that, right? So I want to correct it with the correct method. So let's take an example. So what is this example? We have an outstanding principle of rupees 100. So that can, I'm just taking, making it up because this is going to give you a reference as to how the conversion happens. So we have outstanding of rupees 100 and then the interest rate is 10% and the duration for which the conversion has to happen for this interest payment is four years. So what will be the interest per year? It will be 40 rupees. Very simple. You have a, in a principal outstanding and then you multiply that with 10%, you get 40 rupees. But in conventionally, if the interest was not converted, then this 40 rupees would have got added to the principal, which was the initial principal and the next year principal would have become 140 rupees. And then on top of which the 10% would have applied. But if you are converting all the interest for the full full uh, moratorium period, then this 100 rupees should carry forward till the last year. Means there should not be any change in the principle of rupees 100, right? That is the logic. So we need to calculate the net present value of the interest for conversion of equity. Because if every year you are getting an interest of rupees 10, it is understood that that interest is not added to the principal, right? Otherwise, the next year it would, would have become different because then it would have been 100, in, oh, sorry, 100, it is not going to be 140, it will be 110. So it will become 11 rupees, right, the next year. And then next year, the principal will increase to something else and then the interest will. So here, since the, the principal stays constant, and therefore, what will happen is that we have to calculate the NPV value for the interest, which is for every year, because you are paying upfront the interest payment. You are not paying each and every year. So you won't be paying rupees 40. You will be paying something less, which will be the NPV value of the interest outflows each year, which is 10 divided by 1.1. 10 divided by 1.1 to the power, power 2, 10 divided by 1.1 to the power 3, 10 divided by 1.1 to the power 4. Like that, the value comes out to be 31.7. It is not 40. So now you understand the, the dynamics as to how interest payments are calculated. And the logic is that the principal gets carried over till the end of the period. And then the whole thing starts after the moratorium period has end. So the reality, it is 31.7 will be the interest value on which the equity calculation will be done at the start of the moratorium period. And that might have happened in case of Vodafone. It is not 40, right, to understand this. So this is a very important concept, friends, because if you don't understand this concept, then there is no way to understand how the interest calculations have happened in past when the moratorium started and what will happen in future if interest also is requested to get converted if there is another set of moratorium given to the principal payment of spectrum or AGR, depending upon whatever is, whatever the government decides next after the moratorium ends. So in 2021, GUI offered a four-year moratorium on spectrum and AGR dues, right? Except the 2021 auction, all auctions and the AGR. So telco could have converted the accord interest into equity based on NPV, Vodafone idea accepted this and converted rupees 16,133 crores worth of interest into equity and resulting in 33.1% equity stake with the government, right? So back calculating VI's 16,133 rupees conversion, here there, there is a problem because as I will show you that, let me just show you first and then we'll come back to this slide. So the start, this is the, uh, the annual report of Vodafone Idea till March 2031, 21, 2021, just before the moratorium. So you can clearly see the outstanding amount 
फॉर नवंबर 2012 ऑक्शन फेब्रवरी 2014 ऑक्शन मार्च 2015 ऑक्शन अक्टूबर 2016 ऑक्शन एंड द ए जी आर पेमेंट डाउन बिलो हियर वेर इज द ए जी आर पेमेंट ए जी आर या हियर इज द ए जी आर पेमेंट सो यू कैन क्लियरली सी द आउटस्टैंडिंग अमाउंट वॉज वन पॉइंट फाइव लैख करोड़ ऑल दीज बिकेम पार्ट ऑफ द मोरटोरियम बिकॉज टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन ऑप्शन टिल डिड नॉट हैपन राइट ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन सो दिस वॉज वन पॉइंट फाइव लैख करोड़ ना इफ इट इज वन पॉइंट फाइव लैख करोड़ इज अनथिंकेबल दैट यू हैव एन इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट ऑफ ओनली सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड करोड़ सो पीपल मस्ट बी ब्रेकिंग देयर हेड हाउ कैन द इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट एन पी पी वैल्यू ऑफ द इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट विल बी ओनली सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड करोड़ वेन यू हैव One lakh fifteen thousand crores of debt outstanding, right? Is not possible. So if you look at my calculation, I did a calculation using this Excel sheet. Let me just put my face up, and then here you will see these were the outstanding amount. These two amounts were not included, so it, this can be deleted. So these were this and this, and then if you see that I have made the conversion of interest based on the amount of installment, and then I have calculated the NPV value here. So if I sum everything here. Till here, it comes out to be thirty-seven point nine, means thirty-eight k crores. Now it was only sixteen k crores, which means that Vodafone Idea chose not to convert each and every line item of these uh, auctions and the AGR judgment into uh, yeah, the interest outflow of these line item into equity. They it was very selective. It may not have even converted for the four years because there was not much room to play with. Thirty-three point one percent stake. was a very high stake in vodafone idea and vodafone idea was thinking that going forward as the valuation of the company increases then no longer the equity conversion will be done at rupees 10 therefore they will be able to save on promoter equity dilution as it goes forward in time and that may have been the thought process and therefore all the interest may not have been converted right now let's go back so why this was a partial conversion as i already explained VI's total debt was 1.5 lakh crores. Estimated four-year interest was 58 58,000 crores. Right? Let's see whether this number comes out to be 58,000 crores. It is 47,000 crores is coming out. There will be some here shortfall here. Something, you know, uh, it is roughly around that 50 to 58,000 crores. If fully converted, NPV would have been three to four x times higher, which I showed you. so vi chose to convert only a limited slice and what slice vi chose to convert is unclear friends that is what i wanted to tell you here so what is the annual report revealed from march 2022 to 24 so these were the changes from annual report let me just show you the annual report which is from march 2031 21 and let's look at the number november auction number was 11184 crores and then if you go to the latest report of 31st march 2024 it was 13000 and and uh, 13 uh, 30 13395 and this was how much not 11000 this was 1184 crores similarly february auction was how much 23101 crores and now it is the value is 27000 Uh, uh, 27,500 crores, right? Which is February 2014 auction. Now let's look at the number of March 2015 auction. It was 51,028 crores, right? And now, uh, which was the as per the annual report of 31st March, this uh, this uh, this has increased to six uh, 61,072 or 73 crores, right? So how can these principles change? it is very difficult to understand that if all the equity conversions have happened and you will see that everything has changed so that's the confusion friends i do not understand what logic was applied because it doesn't look like that all interest was conversion was converted even a specific line item was not chosen for conversion for the full full year and these numbers do not match right otherwise there was no way these principal numbers would change right from the value at the start of the moratorium period right so let's go to the next slide so these are the glaring discrepancies now agr dues rose from 65000 crore to 70000 70, uh, uh, 32 crores right uh, from march 23 to 24 right so um, it clearly you know established the fact that the agr agr dues were not chosen for conversion 
डिस्पाइट एलिजिबिलिटी फेबरी टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन ऑक्शन ऑल्सो नो साइन फॉर कन्वर्जन रिपोर्ट डू नॉट डिस्कलोज वॉट वॉज कन्वर्टेड राइट सो द लॉजिकल इन्फ्लुएंस वॉज दैट ओनली द मार्च टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन इंटरेस्ट ड्यूज कन्वर्जन कन्वर्टेड टू लिमिट डायल्यूशन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन वाई आई एम सेंग दैट द मार्च टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन ऑक्शन ड्यूज मैचेस द वैल्यू विच वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सो दिस इज द मार्च टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन ऑक्शन दिस दिस इज द लाइन आइटम राइट सो दिस वेर द इंटरेस्ट आउटफ्लो इन नॉमिनल टर्म्स नाउ इफ यू टेक एन एन पी बी वैल्यू तो दिस इज द नंबर राइट हियर सो इफ आई एड दीज दिस यू सी दिस कम्स आउट टू सिक्सटीन पॉइंट वन करोड एंड आई डू ए सम राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यू कैन सी दैट इफ आई डू ए सम राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ऑफ दिस दिस नंबर कम्स आउट टू सिक्सटीन पॉइंट वन करोड सो दिस सिक्सटीन पॉइंट वन करोड लुक्स लाइक इज ओनली फॉर द मार्च टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन ऑप्शन बट इट इज ऑल्सो नॉट टेलिंग द फुल स्टोरी बिकॉज इफ यू गो टू दैट Two thousand thirty first uh, March two thousand twenty one document. You will see this value was the principal was what fifty one thousand twenty eight crores, right? And now in the March two thousand thirty one um, sorry March two thousand twenty four, this fifteen auction has now become sixty one thousand crores. So how can this principal increase if the interest was converted? I really do not have any idea. So, friends, that's why I wanted to do this video to tell you all these glaring discrepancies. So, the conclusion is very simple. NPB logic explain interest to equity conversion, which I already showed you how it is converted. The sixteen thousand one hundred thirty-three crores aligned with the March two thousand fifteen auction only. VI avoided full conver conversion to retain control. Annual disclosure remains inconsistent. I do not know how they have. how they have disclosed their annual statement what interest that they are showing how the principal is changing once a particular line item got converted so investor must look beyond the surface data so that's all friends in this video i hope that you like this video so this was more of an educational video to make you understand how this equity conversion is done right because ultimately whether it is interest or other is principal npb calculation has to done has to be done Intra the principle is pretty simple. Hundred rupees loan. If you convert fifty rupees, that is going to the. It will be the loan will get deducted by fifty rupees, and the fifty rupees will carry over, and fifty rupees will get converted into equity based on the market value or rupees ten, whatever is 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 higher or lower, right? Then the interest calculation. The logic is very simple. That the principle needs to stay constant, uh, you know, from the beginning period till the end period. the principal should not change and that is the logic of interest conversion so you calculate the interest take the npv value and then because you are paying upfront you are not paying yearly therefore you have to take the npv and therefore the total nominal sum is going to be higher than the real interest which is discounted based on the interest rate right so that's what vodafone did and what they converted is not clear because this 16.1k crore does not match it is a fraction of the total interest obligation they had and therefore they have carried forward most of their loans principal forward with interest accumulation and therefore that has changed but each and every line item has got carried for carried forward and it does not tell us which of the item was converted friends so i hope that you understand this is a summary i can very clearly you can go to the annual report and have a look at for yourself and therefore i do not know how the report and these are the inconsistency in reporting somebody has to tell what they have converted what they have not the annual statement should clearly tell us it does not tell so i do not know what is going on friends i hope that you understand and thanks for listening to the end i hope that this video was useful and the it answers the question thank you very much friends for your time i'll come back with a new video next time on a new topic